Barcelona is perfect because Barcelona is it's equal to design. Everywhere you turn, there are signs of the you know the history of Gaudi here and the, the architecture, the parks, but also just that seems to pervade everything in Barcelona. Everything feels kind of designed, feels a bit cool. I was born in Barcelona, basically because I lived in Barcelona and studied in Barcelona, so it was the easiest choice to, to organize it in Barcelona. But off, you can find any kind of discipline as far as it's something that's going to inspire you somehow. So we have people from graphic design, editorial design, interactives, uh, illustration, uh, 3D, uh, motion design. For us, motion graphics and motion design, it's, uh, it's really important and it's really present in the festival. I'm Will McNeil and I'm a CG design director at The Mill in London and I work in our experience team. Hello, my name is Alexa Serbu. I am one of the co-founders and creative director at XK. And I'm Lux Fuchir, I'm uh, the other co-founder and uh, creative director as well. Hi, my name is Moritz Schlint and I am co-founder of Entagma. My name is Vincent Schwenk and I'm a 3D designer and I also have a studio which is called Vivian. My personal design philosophy is that whatever you're doing, it should mean something. Whether you're telling a story or just trying to get an idea across, don't make something look amazing just for the sake of making it look amazing. Tell a story and make sure that I'm getting across the most important part, which is that human connection. I'm not just trying to make something impressive or cool, I'm really trying to communicate with other people. When it comes to design philosophy, I think it's a mixture for me, a mixture between photorealism, surrealism, and minimalism coupled with a strong procedural approach. So trying to build a machine, trying to build a system that depending on inputs on different data generates beautiful abstract pieces of design. When we design, uh, we have some initial parameters that we start with in the initial concepts, but so much of it is, a, is this, is this uh, dance with the software itself and, and experimentation and lots of um, R&D. And it's almost this infinite loop of design R&D. R&D influences your design back on and gives you sparks new ideas and then um, you can polish and develop further. So it's a very R&D driven process um, and which is very natural um, and spontaneous and fluid. I always like to focus on like graphical approaches and like flat designs but in addition to that I always love to add these realistic tastes of materials and textures and Often I work with very organic shapes and the simulations are very soft and smooth. It allows me to do what I want to do. And I think that's one of the most powerful things about using Houdini is when you sit down to make something, you know you're going to be able to make it. You're not going to run into a wall where it can't do something. There's always a way in Houdini. I think the other thing is that Houdini has allowed me to branch into a lot of different types of animation and content creation that weren't really available to me before. So that's things like uh, getting involved in like data-driven design, interactive design. And for me, that's opened up a whole big uh, kind of world of possibilities for storytelling. Houdini can be very liberating in that it allows you to do anything that is in your head as long as you can wrap your head around Houdini, uh, which is the constant struggle I think both of us still face to this um, very day. But it's this adaptability, this hackability, this openness of the system that does not lock you in in certain ways of thinking or certain ways of designing that is so valuable for me. Because we do so much R&D in the process and the philosophy is really kind of pivots around that. Uh, Houdini is really great with this because um, being able to experiment a lot and then because of the procedural nature, um, taking the, the setups from our R&D and kind of building on top of them when we go into production is really what's, what's really cool. And of course, then it's all the it's all the fun toys that that are in there, all the all the solvers, all the fluids, all the physics that we kind of like to use and abuse. Uh, that's that's yeah. what we like. Yeah, and the fact that we want to always pack our work with lots of detail and intricacy, and Houdini allows you to really push 
you know, numbers of particles and, and trails and hairs and you can really like push it to millions and it will still handle it. And I think that's what's beautiful, that you're not frustrated by things being too slow. You can just like really ramp things up and, and create something that's very complex and you can layer on, on top of it and layer until you, you achieve this like very like, complex and mesmerizing sort of at the same time. Uh, my presentation is called Houdini Made Me Do It, and it's actually about the way that my approach to design changed when I started using Houdini, and how I'm more focused now on creating uh, setups than I am necessarily on shots, creating uh, tools that I use to make other shots, creating tools that I share with other people. Um, so my whole uh, sort of approach to design, which used to be largely about making single shots or or thinking about you know what's going to happen you know in the camera at one time, I'm now thinking about something that's going to have a life something that might uh, exist in many shots or uh, across a whole series of things, or actually something that I'm passing on to someone else that's going to change depending on how they use it. I'm going to cover projects like the um, Winter Olympics closing ceremony, um, some films we've made at the mill, and some also some tools that I've developed myself. So our presentation here at OFF will be us interacting and haggling out what it means um, learning Houdini as a designer and teaching Houdini as a designer, which both has its challenges and um, its ups and downs. So uh, I hope that we can take this audience that's here on a journey that allows them to be not scared of Houdini but embrace it. I think which is quite interesting for the audience because I'm coming from Cine 4D and I have this really design background and other people can relate to my questions and my problems. So I think this is a good combination of design, Cine 4D, learning, Houdini and like a, a great mixture of everything. At OFF we'll be showing you some of the projects that we've created uh, in the past year in Houdini. Um, touch on concept, design, R&D, um, as well as breaking down some of the scenes, show you some of the setups that we used, um, as well as some tools that really helped us uh, speed things up in production. Uh, OFF is a conference for artists and it really feels like that. It feels like a place where we can come together. You know, even in normal times, uh, this kind of work can be a bit isolating. We work in our studios or we work at home. Uh, Office is a place where we come together and we get a sense of the, the whole industry. We tell stories, we get inspired, we see uh, artists maybe we never expected to see. We uh, get to see their process, uh, share a bit of the stories behind making this stuff, grumble a little bit, uh, have a bit of a beer in the sun. And, you know, of course, these days being together is so important and it feels great to be here.